Okay, <clears throat> not sure what you're looking at here. Okay, this is the opening, the sketch of this bottom section here, but I'll be cutting out, all right, for the bottom shelf. Okay, now, here's my measurements. The back from side to side is 14 and 3 quarters. It's 6 and 3 quarters deep. That's from this edge back. It's 6 and 3 quarters, all right? Now from side to side is 14 and 3 quarters, all right? Then the ears right here are 4 and an eighth. Okay, and there is your 4 and an eighth. All right, on each side, four and an eight. That's the ear sticking out. All right, those are your ears. Okay. Then across the face, the overall length of the piece I'm going to cut is going to be 21 and three quarters. Although I'm going to cut it at 22. Okay. And uh, let's get started. Okay. All right, we are recording. Now, I'm making this shelf for the bottom. I'm doing it in the concrete backer board. And that's going to take the shape of the shelf. The next piece I'll be cutting will be the tile that's going to sit in there, which will be my finished product. On the front of it, the tile's going to extend out past the face of it by about an inch and a half, roughly. We have a nice wide seven inch shelf on the bottom and I'm going to bullnose that edge. That'll be another video which will be part three. This is part two. With no further ado, if you have any questions feel free to ask. I look forward to it. Let's get started with this. Okay. All right, now this is what this concrete backer board is going to look like when I get through. All right, it's going to look just like this pattern we have set up here. My cut. All right, it's for my cut list. Okay. Now we're going to measure this here. And we're going to be cutting this on a wet saw. All right, my overall length is 21 and 3 quarters. I'm going to make it... 22 just so we have a quarter inch on each side all right okay you're not seeing what I'm cutting you will be now all right I'm going to cut right here and make a little mark in the center I'm going to come up here to this upper edge okay and then right here well you can't see what I'm doing all right and right here Here's my 22 and this upper edge. I'm going to mark right here. Oh, you can't quite see. All right, now you'll be able to see. Right here at this upper edge on 22, I'm going to mark right here where I can see it. So line up with the saw. Okay, now, am I there? Yes, I'm right there. Close enough. All right, it's not critical. Get her cut. Okay, we're here at the saw. This is concrete backer board. Normally you use a grinder with a diamond blade on it to cut this. And you can, but this creates so much dust. And this dust is poison. It uh, can cause cancer, actually, from what I've read. And so you see my pencil line is right right here okay now I'm going to slide that over where it lines up with the blade right there there we go and remember it's a little long and on purpose well you know what I'm not going to cut it long I'm going to cut it exact I'm just going to cut this exact all right 21 and three quarters is what that is. Okay, so we are going to cut this at 21. 
and three quarters exact. All right. 21 and three quarters. That is 12 sixteenths, which is an improper fraction. All right. But knowing that's important when it comes to understanding your measuring tape and getting accurate measurements. All right, 12 sixteenths, 21 and 12 sixteenths is three quarters. All right. All right, 21 and three quarters. You don't want to say 12 sixteenths except for in your head. You acknowledge what that is in sixteenths. But that number is three quarters. Okay. All right, now I'm going to get that lined up just to the outer edge of my pencil mark. Bam, and we're straight. You'll see no dust as I cut. Take the cut, let's pull it back. All right, now let's take a measurement. Twenty-one and three quarters. All right, we're good. We're in like Flynn, should I say. that just hit okay I got to get this lined up down here on my site and that's looking like it's right let me sight this in we're good we're off by a smidge There we are. Now we got a nice straight cut. Look at this. All right. And that imperfection shouldn't make any difference when I'm done. All right. Now the, imp the imperfection was cut over here on this side, okay? And that's where you're seeing it. So this doesn't matter. That's scrap or throw away. Okay, now we're going to get this laid out. Now we want, in width, overall width, we want six and three quarters in width. So the next measurement we'll be taking is our width. Six and three quarters. All right. As I'm kicking my, <laughs> I want to be kicking my base to my camera. All right. So overall, is six and three quarters. All right, so now we're going to come down here. Let me get this up here where you can see it. All right, six and three quarters. Okay, now we will be cutting this. I've got marker lines along the way. I'll just show it to you. See if you can see them on here. All right. Got that little mark. It's a tracking mark. It tells me if I'm in line with my cut as I'm cutting down through my board. Okay. Now this is a little long. 
So I'm having to kind of float it a bit. Not too bad. Okay, and you can always, you want to cut it just a little bit short. Um, that way you can adjust it. Okay, if it's a little short it won't hurt. And I'll show you what I mean after I make this cut. So I'm going to cut it a little short. All right, so here we go. I'm going to drop this down off the blade, turn it on, let the water flow, and then go. always want to drain the water and if this was tile I would have a squeegee like for cleaning your windows with so it doesn't drip as I can walk into the house with my tile all right now the tracking marks looks like we did good all right but I was following them okay so we really did well all right, now we're going to start laying this out. Now the ear on this is going to be an inch and a half wide. All right, the only thing I didn't show you in this, and this is a very rough, what it's actually going to look like here. All right, that's ugly, and what I'm going to make is going to look much better. That's just a rough drawing, okay? All right, now, let's see. Reposition this so you can better see what I'm doing. All right, now, okay, I'm going to determine that this is the front, so we'll put a little F up here for front. All right, now I'm going to come over here to the side, this outer edge. I'm going to come down an inch and a half. Okay, inch and a half. All right, I'm going to do the same over here on this other side. Okay, we're going to come down. We're going to mark inch and a half. Okay, now I'm going to get a speed square. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick. I've got my tape folded right here at 10 and 3 quarters. What do you see in the very center of this bend? You see 10 and 7 eighths right in the center of this bend at 21 and 3 quarters. All right, what I've done is I've taken my tape and I've brought the end of it down here. To 21 and three quarters all right and then you look dead center of your bend and it gives you what it is you can do that with any length if you don't know how to split it in half that's for splitting it in half okay your numbers for a half or dead center all right now the other thing I've done is I've marked, I put a mark right here on my 7 eighths. Right, 10 and 7 eighths. You see the pencil mark right above it, all right? Don't be afraid, just put a little pencil mark here. All right, above your number, that way you don't get lost. And then this is on the opposite side. Right, and put a mark right above that three quarter mark or seven eighths mark right there. Okay, little trick I'm, I'm showing you while we're out here doing this. Now, I want to take my speed square, stick my speed square on here, get her nice and lined up, get it on the pencil line. Bam. Okay, the end of my 
feet square it's kind of the tip of it broke off make sure that your pencil is on that pencil line and you know you're right now I've got center okay now we want to come over here we know this is at an inch and a half you remember okay we've got this set at an inch and a half let's show you this up close and personal now Just trying to get this zoomed in all right now bear with me okay when you come in here all right inch and a half and we know that's four and an eighth well there's four here's my eighth right there all right there we are there let's double check my inch and a half okay need to verify it with this the lines are kind of hard to read inch and a half all right looks like okay i need to come down here just a smidge to get it right need to go cover that pencil line then we're going to get this with this little line right here make sure that's four and eight before we get started Okay, four and eight, so we're a little bit long there. All right. So we're going to come over here to four and the eight. Bam, right there. Four and eight. So then we're going to come here, we're going to lay this here all right I'm gonna come right up here to my line and bring it down okay you see that okay now I do the same thing on the other side. All right, come over here on this other side. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. A school pencil is great for this because you can get it right, right where you want it. Okay, so I'm gonna come here. I've got my mark there. That's perfect. All right. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do. All right. We're going to go four and eight. Four and eight is right there. No, that's right here. There's my four and eight. Right at that mark. Okay, so now, bring this over here. I could mark four and an eighth on the speed square. All right, that would, that's probably the very best way to do it. All right, now we're gonna take this. We're gonna double check our four and an eighth now. Four and eight. There we are. We're on it. Okay. Now, this area is going to get cut out. That gets cut out so it doesn't get cut out on the other side as well. All right. And there you have it. Now, we're going to cut now. All right, here we go. 
So I'm going to have to raise this up at this point. Alright, and there we have it. 